Jennifer's less than a year old. She's just a tyke. But like many Canadian infants, she was practically born with a stick in her hand. Jennifer can skate. She can shoot forehand and backhand. She can dribble a puck around. Chris Evera Brereton is one of her creators. He calls her a humanoid, a robot that looks like and mimics a human. Two arms, two legs, a, normally a head of some sort, you know, neck joints. Jackie like Boltez is Chris's yeah. professor at the University of Manitoba. Together, they're using sport to test how this $12,000 machine handles tough terrains. Still very much unsolved is uneven surface like the snow outside or gravel road or forest pass or something like that. Boltez just happens to be an athlete himself, an Olympic speed skater to be exact. I was competing for Germany on, in the Olympic teams for 1984 and 1988. Just like athletes, sport pushes these engineers to program robots like Jennifer to do more than go forward and backward. For soccer, for example, I have a dozen motions like turn left, turn right, forward, backwards, kick left, kick right. Like many Canadian parents, the team quickly began urging young Jennifer to tackle hockey something no other humanoid's ever done. To our knowledge, no one else has made a humanoid robot play hockey before, especially ice hockey. She's barely the size of an actual hockey blade, but this little robot is truly as Canadian as she could be. I think it is very natural to think about uh, playing hockey or make a robot play hockey in Canada. Voltez says it'll be another 20 years before we see humanoids in any kind of organized league, but some professors from Japan have already issued a challenge to Jennifer and any teammates that may come in the future. Gavin Seal, CBC News, Winnipeg.